Rhino uses NURBS to represent curves and surfaces. We'll cover surfaces in the next few videos. For those of you familiar with other popular 3D modeling applications such as Blender, ZBrush, Maya, those are primarily polygonal modeling applications where you'll be working with meshes. So what's the difference between NURBS and mesh modeling? Let's start with a mesh model. So a mesh model consists of vertices, edges, and faces, and it uses polygonal representation. The geometry of a NURBS model is determined by control points. So to illustrate this, let's look at a sphere as a NURBS model and the same sphere as a mesh model. Let's switch on the control points. So you'll see now when we adjust the control points in the NURBS model, it changes the geometry between the control points. And with the mesh model, when we drag a control point, it changes the geometry exactly at that point. So since we're mostly going to be working with NURBS modeling in Rhino, let's look a bit more at the background of NURBS. So NURBS stands for Non-Uniform Rational B-Splines. Don't worry, you don't need to memorize that, but it's a neat party trick if you remember it. But let's look at what a, spine, a spline is first, because that is important for our work here. Splines are types of curves that were originally developed for shipbuilding in the days before computer modeling. Naval architects needed a way to draw these smooth curves through a set of points. And so the solution they came up with was to place metal weights or knots at the control points. So remember this word as we'll use it a lot when we work in Rhino, control points. These control points are what they use to bend the metal or wooden beams or splines. The physics of bending a spline meant that the influence of each weight was greatest at the point of contact. So the further away you would move the weight, the smoother the spline became. Okay, so now think of these weights as control points and let's head back to Rhino. When we create curves, we specify the degree of the curve. So think of this degree as a weight. The closer the weight to the curve, the greater the point of contact, and the more influence it has directly on the curve. Okay, let's see this in action. Let's draw three different curves with different degrees. Here we have degree one, and so we're basically drawing a polyline. Degree two, now we notice how the, surf, the, the curve softens and how much further the control point is from the actual curve. And with a degree three, we can see that it's even further away. Now I will select these curves. Uh, I'm going to switch off my gumball, switch my points on, and I'm going to switch my gumball back on again. I will explain a bit later how the gumball exactly works, but here I am just dragging the points, the control points up and down so you can see how that affects the curve. 